What is going on guys? Bringing y'all another video. Anyway, today we're going to be working out. You heard that? Thing's filthy. Today we're going to be working on the old cat. I haven't made a video with this thing in a long time. Really haven't done much to it, but I'll be right back. So after a little while, I was doing some thinking and uh you know, I was looking at my truck, like, man, it's just raking so bad. Like, sometimes it'll kind of look level, but most of the time it's raking. And I really want to level it out. Like, I want it to be level maybe just a little bit, just a little bit lower in the back. I'm not trying to freaking squat it like this. I got the blocks that came with the 6-inch Rough Country Lift, which are the blocks on the website. It says the blocks are 6.25 or something like that. But I did order some 4-inch blocks. These are rough country blocks, same as the lift. People be hating on rough country, but they got some pretty good quality stuff. We're gonna get that first startup of the day. So before I get started, I want to pull some rough measurements with the measuring tape. Eight and three quarters. And this one's almost nine and a half. Eight and a half on the front on that side, nine and three quarters on that side. Platform nine and three quarters. You think it being funny, don't you? So it don't look that bad right here, but you can see the back is sticking up more. So yeah, we're going to get rid of that today. <laughs> What are you doing under there, dude? To break out the big jack, you know. So the way I was able to do this last time, I had to jack up from the leaf spring since you gotta jack it up so freaking high. So, hopefully we don't run into no problems, but that's what we're gonna do. Block out here, big block. It'd be easier putting the little ones in. Big ass block. Look at that. It's huge. Here's a new one. That's the size different. Guys, I got one side done. Ended up having to cut the U-bolts because they were so long. But they're on there and they're tight now. So I'm about to lower this side down. And we're gonna work on the other side. Honestly, oh yeah, let's 
gonna look a lot better. Looks pretty level now. Is in the back over here, in the front, almost none. So, whoa! Drop tape measure. Of course, the ground is uneven, so this side's going to be different, probably. Reading about eight and a half right there. Back here, we got about eight and a half. So, I'd have to really, really like go in a flat parking lot somewhere to get a good look at it but overall it looks a lot better in my opinion definitely changes the look of the truck a lot uh -huh. i mean i'm happy with it so so if you watch my previous videos with the old 7.3 back here uh I mentioned something about getting a new ignition and i did got the keys for that bad boy and now we don't have to start it from under the hood no more so let's see right here let's see got the key in it Turn it. You gotta wait to start doing all that shit. Hopefully the battery's not dead. Push the clutch in and we turn the key. Look at that. Look at that. waiting on the window to come in. I'll probably have another video with the Ford coming soon. Kind of cleaned up the interior a little bit. Looks a lot better in here. Still need to clean up a lot. But yeah, dude, she's healthy. Shit that turbo. My last video, took it down the road. Still need to get tires for it dry rotted ass tires but old cat eye looks good now too so guys i appreciate y'all watching today's video if you like what you saw give me a thumbs up you know it ain't gonna hurt you uh subscribe to the channel if you're not already and yeah we'll catch you in the next one